I have lost over 100 pounds following the keto diet. And in these videos, I usually like to share meal ideas, what I eat in a day, and some new recipes that I like trying as well too, so that you guys can have some good keto ideas and keto meals to keep you on track. Uh, I wanna help you guys lose weight to stay on your weight loss journey and be successful and for you guys to have your own success story. So if that's what you're here for, then keep on watching. Welcome back to my channel, it's Janet, and if you're new here, make sure you hit that red subscribe button, give this video a like to let me know that you're liking my content, and make sure that you're hitting that notification bell so YouTube can notify you when I upload a new video. And if you're a returning subscriber, then welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all having an excellent week so far. It is Friday and it is the weekend, you guys. And it is so nice here, finally in Southern Alberta. I think we are going to be getting spring. I think spring is here to stay, you guys. So we're hoping for the best. Usually once April comes around, it's starting to get nicer. We may get one more like freak snowstorm, but it usually doesn't stick. It'll melt within a day or two for sure. So that's exciting. I am going to start today out by drinking a cup of coffee. So I'm going to do that. And then I think I might take Aries for a walk today, to be honest, because it is so beautiful out. But first, let's make our coffee and let's get started on meal number one as well, too, because I ended up having a shower. I didn't even have anything to eat or drink. I'm fully fasted and I got up, uh, checked my laptop and my YouTube and did all of that already. Had a shower, got dressed, haven't even had a coffee yet. Like. Who even am I? Usually you guys see me when I'm half awake and I'm looking like a zombie and I haven't had my coffee yet. But hey, this is where I'm at right now. I am feeling, feeling really, really good. I had a couple of nice, clean keto days and I just feel really good. So let's get started on the day. Let's have our coffee and Watch make a meal number one, you guys. Light. So keep me in your side. Cause I can do this all night coffee today I ended up making it with the whipped cream and the caramel topping it is absolutely delicious this way I don't have it all the time but definitely if I do make my homemade whipping cream I will put that on top of my coffee oh my gosh that is so good you guys I will link my recipe here for the whipped cream it is very very easy and it only takes three items actually three ingredients so i will link that video here i use it all the time i use put it on my pancakes i put it on my waffles i put it in my coffee i use it for a lot of things and it is it'll help you stay on track as well too with having a little bit of something sweet as well too all right you guys let's get started on our meal number one as well too all right, you guys, before we actually get started on meal number one, I am gonna get started on my supper. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of water in the bottom of my roasting pan. And for supper tonight, I decided that I'm going to make a stir fry. So I'm going to get started on the sausages and put them in the oven. It's gonna be kind of like a keto, 
um, sausage and veggie stir fry. It's just another recipe that I decided to make. And so let's get started on that. I always like putting our sausage in the oven for about an hour before I fry it. I find it just kind of holds the moisture in a little bit better. Um, so we are hunters and we have our own sausage that we make. So right here is our sausage and this is elk sausage um, that Jimmy and I made and it's very, very good. So I'm gonna put all of this in here and then I'm just gonna put it on a low heat. So I'm gonna do it at 250 in our oven for probably about an hour. So let's just get started on that. And then we will have supper somewhat halfway done, like early enough in the day, all right? So let's do that. guys today I'm going to be making for meal number one I'm going to be making a Monte Cristo I believe is what it's called I've had them in restaurants before and they are absolutely delicious and I was thinking that I could easily make this keto so that is what I'm going to be making for meal number one you guys so let's get started all right so instead of the ham actually I am going to be making this with bacon inside the sandwich so I'm gonna fry up our bacon first and I am going to do three slices. I will see if I use them all but um, three slices is what I'm going to start with and we are just going to start by frying that up right now. All right you guys so technically what uh, Monte Cristo is is just kind of like a sandwich um, dipped in egg and then fried. So so anyways, I'm just going to crack two eggs and that is what we are going to use for the mixture for the outside that we're gonna dip our sandwich in. So we'll just get that ready. Our bacon is done here as well, by the way, so I've taken that out. Now the original recipe did say to use ham, so you guys can use ham. All right, so we're just gonna scramble this up. I'm going to add a little bit of salt and pepper to my eggs. And that is all the seasonings that I'm going to be using in this is just some salt and pepper. And I'm not gonna use a, a ton of, of either actually. So we're just gonna use have that. And then we are going to just set that aside and we are going to assemble our sandwich. So you guys know the keto bread that I've been using is the Carbonaut bread. I bought it from Nutra Market here in Canada. If you scroll down my into my description, you will see the website and you can click on that and enter in the carbonate bread. I get the white, I do prefer the white bread instead of the seeded bread. Um, but if you guys like the seeded bread, then there's that there as well. And they also sell the seeded bread at Costco here in Southern Alberta in Canada. So either or you guys, you guys can check that out. Um, I will have the website linked below. And you know what, to be honest, Sorry, I'm just grabbing a, there we go. To be honest, you guys, that website, Nutramarket, has a lot, a lot of keto stuff. So, like, check it out, see what you like. I also have a whole bunch in the description, um, my favorite keto items as well, too, things that I bought off of Amazon that are my favorites. So I always have that link down in my description, so you guys just have to click on the link, and it'll take it right to you guys. So we're just going to make this as a sandwich. I'm going to do it on both sides. I'm putting on some mayo. I've used Hellman's mayo my whole entire journey, my weight loss journey, you guys. Um, I prefer the taste of it, but you guys can have whatever kind of mayo that you want to have, whether you're doing like 100% clean keto. Um, you guys can find some mayo that fits your needs. And then we are just going to put some mustard on that as well too. So let's do that. There we go. I'm going to do it on both sides as well, like I had mentioned. And we are just going to spread that all over our bread. And then we are going to assemble our sandwich. So what we are going to do is I'm going to cut my bacon all in half. And that's just going to be a little bit easier to assemble my um, sandwich here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use, because I don't have very much of the pizza. If I had a preference, I would probably use this um, for the whole entire sandwich, but I don't have that much. 
All right, you guys, sorry I got cut off. I did get a phone call, um, but I just wanted to show you what I did. I did assemble my sandwich, and then I transferred the egg mixture actually into like a rectangular um, dish so that it was easy for it to put the whole sandwich in the egg mixture because that's what you need to do. Make sure all your sides are covered, even like the edges as well too. So I just used the same plant pan like I cooked the bacon in. So we are just gonna cook this. We are gonna have it on um, a low heat for now. I might um, put it up to like a medium heat and we are gonna cook it on both sides until it is nice and crispy, all right? So let's do that. All right, you guys, our sandwich is all done. I cooked it on both sides and it looks absolutely delicious. All right, so let's cut this up and I will show you guys the final product number one it looks absolutely delicious like I said you guys can use the ham that it calls for in the original recipe but I think this is gonna be good with bacon as well too I just added a few tomatoes on the side you guys can add whatever you want on the side I just wanted to add some tomatoes All right, you guys let's give this a taste test it looks absolutely delicious you guys so let's give it a taste test How good does that look? And it smells so good. All right, let's taste it. Mm. Mm. You guys have to try this. It is absolutely delicious. All right, sorry you guys, somebody was at the door. I'm just getting interrupted today all day. But anyways, this is absolutely delicious to you guys and so easy. And I'm telling you, it tastes just like a diner sandwich, like the ones that you do get in the diner that I've gotten before. It's really, really good. So make sure you give it a try. All right, you guys, pretty exciting news today. I think I got my air fryer. So, and my husband ordered a couple things too because he wants to start, um, he wants to start reloading our ammo and doing it ourselves instead of buying ammo. But I just wanted to open it up because I have a feeling that my air fryer is in here as well too. So let's open it up and see. Okay, so this is Jimmy's. Yeah, that this here is Jimmy's. It's part of his like reloading stuff that he wanted to buy. And this, it is my new air fryer, you guys. So let me show you what I got. All right, you guys. So I ended up getting the Consori. Consor, Consori, I don't know, see, that's how you spell That's the air fryer that I ended up getting. I was going to get the Ninja, but I decided against it, and I want to try this one. This has, like, amazing reviews. I looked up the ones that, like, were lasting the longest, and definitely, like, the major reviews, and this one came up as number one overall, so that's why I decided to go with this one. And the other reason why I decided to go with this one is because I could get it in white. Yes, I know. I'm that person, honest to God. <laughs> so I wanted to get white. I didn't want, an, like, I know this is still big, but I didn't want to get an absolutely huge, huge thing um, that would take up a lot of counter space because I am not a fan of having a lot of stuff on the counters. Um, and I wanted something that would, would go with kind of like my kitchen. And the Ninja, like, I know a lot of people love their Ninja, but honestly, I think it would just be too bulky for my kitchen. So, let's see. I'm going to unwrap this, and then I will show you guys once I get it all unboxed.
excited. Like this thing is so pretty. I absolutely love it. I think it looks so sharp. Now my only issue is that there's a steam vent on the back of it um, that I just noticed. <sighs> and we just renovated our kitchen, I would say probably like three years ago. And the reason why we have the um, coffee pot over at the coffee bar, you can kind of see it over here, is because of the steam that comes off of the coffee maker. I didn't want it to ruin our cabinets, right? Because steam is really, really bad for like wrecking cabinets. Even though all of our cabinets are wood, like a, I forget what wood, but it's a very good quality of wood. I still don't want to wreck it. So I'm just concerned about that. That's something that I think about. You can thank my dad for that. I just think about those things like a lot whenever I um, am setting something up or get something new. Peek at my laundry over there. I know I'm just saying that I hate stuff on my counters and yeah, there, that's clean laundry over there. But anyways, um, that's on my to-do list today. But I am loving it so far. So I was thinking, I already put that sausage in the oven, but I could have put it in the air fryer you guys i didn't know this was coming today um and sometimes it doesn't come to our house like it comes to our p.o box um but yeah i'll give you guys a look at it from the front here it's so beautiful one second all right you guys this is it like look at how pretty it is i absolutely love the white i'm so glad that i got white um it just looks really really good in our kitchen just because our kitchen has like all the the white cabinets and everything like that so I'm loving the look. I love that it's like all digital and I love that it has like pre settings like for chicken. I love it that shrimp like everything is kind of preset and then you can also um, do your own so you can kind of change change the temperature as well too. It's really touchy and you can change the time I believe too, the minutes. Yeah. So it's really, really good for that reasoning. Um, it has vegetables on there as well too. That's pretty cool. I think that looks like bread, bacon. So yeah, I'm pretty excited. We did have an air fryer, but it was just like a cheap air fryer to be honest. It was just kind of a cheaper air fryer. So I wanted to kind of spend not a huge lot because I, I know, um, sometimes it just gives out right so i that's why i ended up ordering this one i will have it linked down below um i bought it off of amazon so i will have that exact link down below if you guys are interested in it. it's really reasonably priced and i will give you a review soon on it all right you guys let's get started on dinner i am just going to fry up um because we are having the sausage and veg kind of stir fry. So I just have the rest of my veggies here that I wanted to use up. So I thought that this would be a pretty good recipe to make. So we are just going to put some oil in the frying pan. We are going to turn that on a kind of like a medium heat. Put some oil. Then we are going to fry up some of our veggies. And slice up our sausage and put it in here as well too. So let's get started. All right, so we're just going to add a little bit of pepper and a little bit of salt as well too. I'm actually going to use some garlic salt is what I'm going to use instead of salt. There we go, and now we're just gonna fry this up until it's nice and saute. And then we are going to add in some of our sausage. All right, you guys, while our uh, veggies are sauteing, I am just gonna rinse my pasta. So you guys know this is my favorite pasta, low calorie pasta that I get. It's the angel hair one. Get the thinnest one if you're making a stir fry. But the key is out of the package, you need to rinse it really, really well. Like I sit here for a minute and I go through all of this new pasta and just make sure that it's all thoroughly rinsed. That's the key. And then we will saute it up with the rest of our vegetables when they're done and the sausage, all right, to get our stir fry. So these are really, really good noodles um, in lieu of like chow mein. So you guys can make Chinese food even at home. So I'm just going to rinse these out really, really good. And then our vegetables should be done sauteing as well. All right, so our vegetables are getting good, pretty close to done. So I am just going to put our sausage in there as well too and just saute it up for a little bit and then we will get started on our stir fry. All right, you guys, I'm using my bigger fry pan. I put some oil on the bottom of it 
And what we are going to do is we are going to put our noodles in here that we rinsed off and then we are going to add our sausage and pepper mixture. And then we are going to add all of our ingredients in order to make this kind of like a stir fry. So a Chinese style stir fry. So let's get started on that. First, we are going to put our noodles in here. I'm gonna leave this on about a, like, a medium low heat. These are our noodles that are all rinsed off. And we are just going to saute that a little bit in the oil. Make sure that it's all covered with oil and saute it all up a little bit. And then we are going to add in our mixture. That's just a piece of the mixture from in here. And we are going to add all of our veggies and our sausage. And we are going to mix it all up and we are going to make this a stir fry, all right, you guys? So what we are going to use for ingredients to make it a stir fry, it's going to be all keto friendly, low carb friendly, is I have some liquid aminos. So this is like a soya sauce, tastes really, really good. If you don't have some, I highly recommend you buy some. You can buy it at kind of nutrition stores, grocery stores, a lot of places. And there is zero carbs in this. And you guys can use any sort of protein that you would like. Um, I just had sausage on hand and I thought this would be pretty good. Um, since the last couple of nights I've been having chicken, so I thought this was gonna be a little bit different. So we're just gonna let this saute. Um, we're gonna keep it on low actually and we're just gonna get, let all the flavoring kind of like get into the noodles and into the veggies and everything like that. And I don't think we're gonna add anything else. I'll give it a taste test here and see how it's tasting and go from there. All right, I'm actually also going to add a little bit of sriracha in it, not too much, because I don't like things too hot, but you guys can add as much as you'd like, um, depending on your tolerance for hotness, but I'm just gonna add a little bit, because I don't like mine too spicy, but I do like it have, like I find sriracha gives it a good flavor, um, so I'm going to add a little bit for flavor here as well, too. All right, let's give it a little taste and see how this is, is tasting. you guys that tastes absolutely delicious all right let's just keep it on low for about three more minutes and then it'll be all done all right you guys this is all done now this is going to be our dinner for tonight looks absolutely amazing just goes to show that you guys can make your own chinese food at home you guys and absolutely delicious if you wanted to have this and a side of cauliflower rice or make your own like sort of um, battered chicken maybe. You can make it with coconut flour and deep fry it. You, you know what, you guys can really make a lot of things keto if you think outside the box and that is the key. So this is absolutely delicious. I did taste it previously to make sure all the seasonings were good and it legit tastes like Chinese food. Like if you're having that craving, you guys can make this at home and still be satisfied you guys so make sure you give it a try let me know you guys can use any sort of meat if you wanted to make it um, with beef steak or if you wanted to make it with chicken or shrimp or whatever you guys have on hand but give it a try it's absolutely amazing all right i'm gonna taste it again for you guys i still like this is the first time that i ever made like a chinese food inspired dish like I've made um, egg roll in a bowl before but as far as like the noodles and stuff like that because that's what I really miss from Chinese food 
um, but this is legit like look at that it looks absolutely delicious and let's give it a taste again Mm -hmm. that is really really good you guys give it a try i promise you you will not miss the noodles this tastes exactly like chow mein noodles it's just a matter of doing the seasoning and it tastes really really good so make sure you give it a try let me know down in the comments if you tried it what you're thinking of my recipes you guys you guys know i love the feedback i always respond to your guys's comments down below as well all right, everyone, thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope it gave you some ideas to make your own keto meals. And remember, you guys, if you're craving that Chinese food, you guys can make it yourself at home. So I also wanted to mention afterwards, I did have a fat bomb. I had two fat bombs, actually, that are homemade, just to kind of get some extra fats in for the day. So I will have my total calories and total carbs on the screen for today, you guys. Today was a really, really good keto day. Give you some ideas to stay on track and kind of made like two meals that you could have eating out. Like I would say my meal number one, the Monte Cristo, like that is something like a diner food that I used to have when I was eating out. And definitely dinner tonight was a Chinese meal that I would definitely have while I was having Chinese food. I love chow mein noodles. I miss them a lot. So. It's a great recipe to have when you're craving those things, you guys, and make sure that you're cooking at home. I always advocate you guys cooking at home and making do with what you have. No waste, buy all your groceries, do your meal plan, and have everything at home. I don't know, I know I mention this in every video, but it is that important, and it'll help you guys stay on track, I promise you, and you will be successful in your own weight loss journey as well, too. So make sure that you hit that red subscribe button. Give this video a like to let me know that you're liking my content and make sure that you're hitting that notification bell so YouTube can notify you when I upload a new video. Thanks for watching.